In previous episodes, we told you about an enthusiast named Ricky Ma, who created a humanoid robot, model named Mark I. Quite recently, the engineer showcased the progress of his robot. Mark I has learned to cook various dishes to suit any taste. To create his dream robot, Ricky Ma spent $50,000. Ricky began building his robot essentially from scratch. He 3D printed the skeleton for his creation. In total, 70% of the robot's body was created on the printer. Only the engines, metal mounts, and computer chips were not printed. He programmed the hardware to respond to voice commands. The designer spent a year and a half on the whole project. The robot responds to commands that Ma gives through the microphone. The designer engineer admitted that the project turned out to be quite challenging. The Chinese company Astrobot has introduced a new humanoid robot called S1, which moves at speeds of up to 10 meters per second and can lift loads weighing up to 10 kilograms. Its speed is sufficient to pull a tablecloth out from under a stack of glasses without dropping them. However, this robot is not only fast but also incredibly precise. The video demonstrates how it performs various tasks, opening and pouring wine, delicately peeling a cucumber, flipping a sandwich on a skillet, vacuuming, and even writing in calligraphic script. The robot's ability to accurately mimic human movement speaks to its high potential for learning. However, the video raises several questions. For example, does S1 have a lower body? All humanoid robots have some means of locomotion, but S1 appears to be a stationary robot. It is also unclear whether S1 will ultimately be launched into production. So far, the Astrobot website provides the following information. The company was founded in 2022 in Shenzhen, and the development of the robot took about a year, with an expected release for sale later this year. The site also states that the parent company, Stardust Intelligence, was founded by Lai Tse, who previously worked at Tencent Robotics Lab, Baidu, and the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. The Japanese company Melton, specializing in the development of avatar robots, showcased the capabilities of its first robot Melton Alpha. The Japanese robot Melton Alpha is controlled by an operator using two gloves and joysticks attached to beams, the movement of which the robot replicates with its hands. To see what is happening around the robot, the operator can use virtual reality glasses. According to the developers, the hands of Melton Alpha accurately replicate the structure of the human hand, taking into account the location of muscles and tendons running to individual fingers. Polymer elastic cords are used for this purpose. Pressure sensors are also installed in the robot's fingers, and a feedback system provides haptic feedback. Due to this, the robot can perform very precise movements, pick up an egg or a laptop, hold a playing card. At the same time, the robot's hands are quite strong. With just two fingers, it can hold a two-liter water jug, and with both hands, it can hold a load weighing about four kilograms. Melton reports that they have successfully tested controlling the robot from a distance of 18,900 kilometers, but no other results are currently known. Boston Dynamics unveiled Sparkles, a specially dressed robot dog named Spot. The costume makes Spot resemble a giant toy dog. Developers stated that it was created to explore the intersections of robotics, art, and entertainment. In the presented video, Sparkles dances alongside the original Spot. The robot dog's dances became possible thanks to Choreographer, a tool for creating and controlling movements to music via the Spot API. Choreographer, which became available last year to clients in the media and entertainment industry, bridges the gap between the creative process of a traditional choreographer and the technical process of programming a robot. In simpler terms, choreographer analyzes Spot's physics and the surrounding environment, prioritizing balance before following the specified steps. Due to such sports intelligence embedded in the robot, you can simply give higher level instructions and Spot will do the rest. If asked to do something physically impossible, or if encountering an issue like a slippery floor, Spot will find a possible movement most similar to the requested one and execute it instead, similar to what a human dancer would do, Boston Dynamics stated. Kanguro is a robot developed by Japanese engineers that can serve as a personal companion, carrier, and mode of transportation. Equipped with a camera and obstacle detection system, it weighs 64 kilograms and can reach speeds of up to 10 kilometers per hour. Primarily, 
Kanguro is a transportation device resembling a mix of a scooter and a hoverboard. In this mode, it extends a seat and front wheels and is controlled by body tilt rather than handlebars. Another feature of the robot is artificial intelligence, allowing it to move autonomously. For instance, it can come to pick you up from work or return home if not needed. Kanguro can also be used to transport goods. You can hand heavy packages such as groceries on it, and the robot will follow you. Additionally, according to the developers, you can communicate with the robot like with a friend, as it provides emotional support. Currently, Kangaroo is in the development stage and its release date is unknown. However, the creator's idea is that in the future, everyone will have such a robotic assistant that can be summoned like a taxi, providing a comfortable and safe ride to the store or work. In Japan, a demonstration of an autonomous robot named Nyaki was showcased. Nyaki is capable of knocking on doors, opening them, and delivering drinks to hotel rooms. Currently, the robot can only open doors that it already knows, but developers are working to enable it to open doors it encounters for the first time as well. In a demonstration experiment conducted at Akashi Works, Nyoki moved to the front desk based on a map it had memorized and located the door handle using sensors on its head and arms. It grasped the door handle with its right hand and knocked with its left, then moved forward into the partially open space to open the door wider. Placing a tray of drinks on a cart, the robot entered the room and said, Here are your drinks. Nyaki's body is attached to a four-wheeled cart, standing at a height of 1.5 meters and weighing 75 kilograms. Its neck can extend upward to a height of about 1.9 meters. Another feature of the robot's design is its two hands, each with three fingers. To enable the robot to recognize the position of the door handle in the serviced room, its hands and head are equipped with special sensors. It is expected that this robot will help compensate for the shortage of workforce due to Japan's declining population. Employees of the Columbian Engineering University have created a robot named Emo, capable of predicting human emotions and responding accordingly. Cameras in its pupils allow it to establish eye contact, necessary for nonverbal communication with people. Emo is equipped with 26 muscles, enabling it to perform a wide range of emotions. Its head is covered with silicone material, mimicking human skin. The artificial intelligence model predicts facial expressions by analyzing subtle changes in the interlocutor's facial muscles. Then the AI generates motor commands using the corresponding expressions stored in its database. The robot spent several hours learning from video clips of human facial expressions, observing them frame by frame. To enable the bot to use facial expressions, scientists placed Emo in front of a camera to perform arbitrary movements. After a few hours, the robot established a correlation between facial expressions and motor commands. Emo learned to predict a human smile 800 milliseconds before the person opposite actually expressed it. The experiment's authors are confident that Emo will improve the quality of interaction and help build trust between humans and robots. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.